everyone, Mr. Market here, and today I'm just going to be showing you a little add on onto the AFK bot which I did a few videos back. And I saw a comment last night and I thought it was a pretty good idea, so thank you for uh, having that sort of input. Um, so, what it is is basically it's like a kind of like a database which is going to contain a list of words, and then if the bot detects one of those words being sent in our message, it's going to then respond something. Uh, corresponding to that word so let's say I set up a trigger for hi and I want it to respond hey how are you then every time the bot receives hi in a message it's going to respond hi hey how are you so hopefully that makes sense uh, there's various ways to do it but I'm just going to be showing you how to do it with two list boxes so this one here uh, on the left is going to contain all the, tr the like the sort of the triggers and then this one on the right is going to contain uh, the responses for the triggers. Now we could have it in one, have it split in with um, colons and stuff, but that's sort of unnecessary and we might as well just do it this way. And we also want a uh, checkbox so we can enable it and disable it like the other stuff we have made before. And we can just call that enable response. Let's put the E on the end of that. So what we're going to do is we can quickly fill this up before we go any further and we'll just sort of create a few basic words. Um, now capitals do matter so what we could do is uh, put everything in lowercase and then we'll in the code we'll convert everything to lowercase so there shouldn't be any problems. Uh, so we'll have high and we'll also have test and then we'll also have buy. So they'll be the three basic ones we'll do as an example. And then in the corresponding list box, this is going to be the responses. So for hi, we'll respond, hey, how are you? Now this one you could put capitals because this one doesn't, this one isn't getting checked. This is the response. And then for test, we can say this bot works. And then for buy, we can say come back soon, something like that and that's a few basic replies now you want to have it in order so high is at the top so we got the high response at the top because they're going to run from IDs and we want the IDs to match the response if that makes sense to you so now let's go into the code and we want to do it within now if, if you're new to this video because I made this project before you're going to want to watch that I'll leave a link in the description uh, basically you want the basic uh, message status function and check if we got the message received now well, that's what we want to work in we want to check if the message has been received and of course if it has we want to work inside of it and we just want to come under here and say if check box 3 which is our new one dot check is equal to true then we want to execute our code now what we want to do is get the incoming message uh, for every single message we receive and we want to split that into words so then we can make uh, run through each word and check if they're matching and so on so first of all we can say dim uh, incoming message as a string and that is going to be equal to let me just check what we set that to before um, c message dot body so that's what we want so the incoming message is c message dot body and then what we want to do with that is, uh, first of all, we can, I think we can say dot two lower right here, and that will solve our problem. And then what we can do is create an array, which we'll call output, and we're going to fill that with each word in our incoming message. So we want to split that by uh, the space. So incoming message dot split we want to split that out of space like so so now let's say we receive a message called uh, this is a test now this output array is going to contain four words being this is a test and each one is going to have a unique ID um, being 0 to 4 or 0 to 3 sorry um, so now what we want to do is loop through each word within our output uh, within our output array so we can say for each word uh, as a string 
in out, which is our output. And for each word, what we want to do is check if it is contained within our triggers, which is list box free. So if list box free dot items dot contains, if it contains our word, then that's good. We got a match. What we want to do is grab the ID of the word and then respond with the corresponding ID in the responses. So it's fairly straightforward and pretty easy to do. Um, but what we want to go ahead and do is create a global integer because we need to access it at various points. Um, so it's better if it's global. Um, we can just say dim word ID as an integer at the top of our code. And then what we want to do is word ID is going to be equal to list box free dot items dot index of and that will return the ID of the word of the word. We only want to do that if it's a match because then we know this is definitely going to be returned an ID. Then what we want to do is send a message back to the chat um, from this list. So what did I call that? C chat dot send message. So that should be fine. C chat dot send message and for what we want to send to them uh, because we have the ID um, let's say we send hi this will be ID 0 we want to send ID 0 back to them so that's fairly straightforward so that's list box for dot item now dot item and we need to give it the ID which is word ID and then that would send them the message back and just after this next we can reset word ID is equal to zero uh, because we just want to get it ready for the next incoming messages and that should be uh, ready to go the only problem is um, I do not have another device at hand uh, or have someone ready to send me a message so I can't show you it in action but I did try and test it last night when I saw the comment and it did work for me anyway I know people get co uh, comments saying it doesn't work for them and literally there's no it the code works it's just for some people the the Skype 4 com API um, it's sort of outdated and Microsoft stopped uh, working on it many years ago um, so it is a bit outdated and sometimes it doesn't work it doesn't even work for me sometimes uh, it's just the way things are sometimes but it does work I can assure you it was working last night um, there's one way I can show you and that is by simulating uh, simulating a message so we can add a button and what I'll do is just quickly go and show you how it would work if you did receive a message and that's just because I cannot um, I cannot get another device at hand right now so the button click is going to simulate the message and, and because it's not coming in from the incoming check uh, we got some errors here so the incoming message will be hard coded and I'll set it to this is a test so the incoming message is now going to be that and then we obviously we can't send a message because we're not within Skype I'll just display it as a message box message box dot show this box for dot items dot item and then word ID so this is the best I can show you for now by a stimulated click and we'll go ahead and do that. So the message is going to be this is a test and because test is within our triggered uh, triggers sorry we should get uh, this bot works as a response so let's go ahead and click that. So there we are so we got this bot works and that would be what would be responded to the chat if someone were to send you test. So that's it for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.